Uh, I'm, I'm, my nationality is Mormon. Okay. What does this have to do with uh, you have a driver's license? My, I, my nationality is Mormon. Sir. Are you now you trying to fabricate probable cause or making false statements into a record of false allegations against me? Sir, he's giving you a lawful command to open the door. A lawful Your command. statement lawful is order. partially false and an outright lie. You go to and now you are trying to fabricate probable cause or making false statements into okay. a record and false allegations against me. I ask you, where is my warrant? Where is my warrant paper? Do you have identification, sir? I gave you an ID card. Do you have identification, I gave you an ID card. Do you have identification? I am, I am Mormish. My nationality is Mormish. identification? My nationality is Mormish. Do not break my automobile. Oh, damn it! So, who remembers this guy? If you watch my content, or subsets in general, then you know who this is. But for those of you who don't, let me introduce you to the infamous Mormish American, Ultra L. Studman. Also known by his real name, Herbert Studstill. I know, it's not as impressive as his fake name. Here are some of the other videos that made him so well known in the subset watcher community. You have a secret. You have a driver's license. I already have it. I already showed it to you. You have a Michigan driver's license. I already showed it to you. Where's it at? Do you have the paper? I gave you the paper. Put the camera down. Grand Theft Auto! Sir. Grand Theft Auto! We're ordering you to get out Grand of the Grand Theft Auto! Upon the request of a police officer, you must step out of the vehicle. You want me to get out? No, no, don't get out. Do you understand me? Step out of the car with your camera down. Sir, I am not for hire. For the record, I am operating in a not for hire capacity. I'm giving you 30 for, seconds. By engaging in for any form of transportation. Car. No, no, don't I'm get out. I'm giving you 30 seconds. And I'm I, have, I have showed you my ID. Can, Can I get, get out? No, no, don't get out. ID. Don't get out. Don't, don't get out. Don't get out. Don't get out. Let's go. Here. 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 This is not an ID. That is a that is an identity card that doesn't mean nothing. Step out of the car. Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! Alright, sir, you've been warned. No! Don't break my window! 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 Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Open it up now! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Actually, he was crying in there, making woman gestures like, oh, 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 I can't. Don't grab her. Don't you dare grab her. You better have a warrant do you want from a judge. Do you want to go to the hospital? No, she's not. Sir, we're not you can't you. speak to her. You're you know, right now. Uh, like cops are the here and they got guns drawn. They're Sir, here. There's nobody with guns they drawn. They got guns drawn. Can you repeat, please? I'll go talk to them. They, they open, they, Cassandra, Cassandra opened the door and let, what, let these cops in. The now I'm asking them, do they have a warrant to come yeah. in my house? Come on out. We're going to help you. Yeah, yeah, let, come on out so we what can now? deal with him. Don't. No okay, come on out. We don't have to deal with him, and we can stop. Her. Her. Okay. She's all right. She's all right. She's just having a panic attack. Yep, and we should, we're trying to help and her, sir. Exactly. They're, they're right yeah. here. See, they're now, out. close my door. Cassandra, you said you right wanted here. help, right? See, they're right here. Look yep. outside. Come on out, just step The up. fire department. They're here to help don't, you. Just Ambulance. go back in the room. We uh, yeah, sort this on. all out. Come on. You know we the sort right this right all out. Come on with us. That's suspicious. That's weird. I came here to go to Intercom Bank. Take care of business. What he say? The government of the state is invite everybody to stay in home and stop filming, sir. 
I'm make it filming, easy. Make it I'm easy. filming for my safety. Now, why can I go to Intercom Bank? Because the rules of the town and the government. See? So why are they going here? Because we all know this voice. I'm from Lodi Marcos. I came here to do business. You have a closer bank in La Peñita. Go there. We are not taking visits. This is a violation of my travels. No, allowed. There's no coronavirus. What's your name and badge number? This is bullshit. Yeah, don't touch, no touchy, no touchy, no touchy, no touchy, no touchy. This guy got a machine gun. He, I don't know his what he what he's gonna do. Don't get behind me, Bob. Don't get behind me. Racial discrimination, that's what I see. Let's go. Whoa, no touchy. No touchy. No touch. Welcome back to another Sovereign Citizen episode. I'm Runry, and if it weren't already abundantly clear by now, Herbert is the star of today's show. First becoming a Sovcit meme for his girlish screams, Herbert uploaded multiple videos interacting with the police before moving to Mexico, where he continued his auditor-style behaviour. His last videos were uploaded over two years ago before abruptly stopping. Given his behaviour, and how dangerous Mexico is known to be, I feared the worst. Until now, Herbert has returned to the USA. Channel member Clyde950 voted for this video, a perk that comes with being a higher tier channel member. If you'd like to support the channel without becoming a member, liking, subscribing and leaving a comment helps plenty. You can even dislike the video and leave a nasty comment. I can take it, unlike some people. Ah! Fuck this motherfucker. Let's do it. Let's blow a hole in this mother and let's talk about what's going on. Because I've had enough of people breaking the fucking law to try to take me down. How about this? Fuck off. Get a fucking life. Okay. So... <laughs> Really amped up today about this bullshit. And that's a reference only a handful of my audience will understand, but hey, crappy editing and obscure references, that's the runnery standard. Get over there! What's the name of your badge number? Here we can see Herbert in Mexico. It seems he's decided to screw around with these police officers here, and given the reaction and where they are, I feel like they were already parked on the curb here, and Herbert stood there like a weirdo recording them for no reason. That's why they've interacted with him. Look at that fire off. Eh? Why are you harassing me? I understand. Not my problem. Here we can see the depth of Herbert's stupidity on full display. He moved to a country that does not speak English as a primary language, he didn't learn the primary language of that country, and then he tells the police officers it's their problem when they cannot understand him. I really am surprised he made it out of Mexico without ending up in prison or worse. Look at these weapons, they're terrorists. Look at that weapon right there. Look at that weapon right there. They're weapons, weapons, weapons. They're harassing me. I'm fearing for my life because they're harassing me. They refuse to identify themselves. Ready? Ready? I just did a quick Google search and I believe in Mexico, if a police officer asks you for your ID, aka a driver's license, you have to produce it. What's your name and your badge number? Uh, ID. What's your name and your badge number? For you to identify as a felony. I'm not so sure about that one, Herbert, and frankly, I don't believe these police officers care. They hang around for a short time before moving along chatting to each other, presumably having a good laugh about Herbert. Even some random members of the public come along and have a bit of a chuckle about this. Oh, I'm putting this on YouTube. They got weapons. They're harassing me. This guy? What do you want to talk? What do you translate? Oh. I have nothing to say to you. You're harassing me! Leave me alone! Damn assholes harassing me for no reason. Sick of them bastards. Sick of all cops. I'm putting this on YouTube tonight. 
Without her book coming out and saying it himself, or a video to prove it, we will never know exactly why he hates the cops, but I feel like, just like many sovsits, he had a bad experience with the police, probably due to his own stupidity, and that's why he became a sovereign citizen to begin with. Many sovsits believe in the nonsense they're told, as if it's some kind of magic loophole in the law. Anyway, let's move on to the next clip. So your boys at 12 o'clock. Five of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where are you? I'll answer questions. I don't want to answer questions. Por favor. I don't want to answer questions. Apague su teléfono, por favor. I don't want to answer questions. Dismissed. Sí, por favor, apague su teléfono. Por Dismissed. Por Dismissed. They got weapons drawn. I'm gonna keep my distance from dangerous terrorists. No one's on the full truck with a machine gun. It seems like Herbert really wants the police, or in this case the military, to react to him recording them. But as soon as they do, he backs away and you can, you can almost hear the fear in his voice. Anyway, he's back in America with this next clip, doing the same thing there. He's standing on the side of the road where there's been a crash, attempting to get the police to take notice of him, although none of them seem to care. What is Wayne Clown Cop doing now? Oh, I'm sure they're going to mind their own business because they blocked off the road because of an accident over here. Wayne Clowns doing their job as public servants. Don't bother me. Don't ever bother me. Don't even say hi because I don't want to hear it. I want to get your names and badge numbers you harass me. Look at that car. Hit. Hit. There's two clowns over there. You know, paramedics and cops all look the same to me. Gotta find these cops. I just love filming the clowns. They better mind their own fucking business. Yeah, take care of your business on the other side of the ambulance. An exercise of my first amendment right. So take your business elsewhere. Ooh, what is that cop doing over there? What is he doing? Yeah, it's called mind your own business and do your job, cop. I wonder what's his name and badge him. He have any approach me or anything and you get their names and badge numbers but their back is turned towards me. Yeah, I'm a cop, I love to block the rules. Oh well, doing your job. Yeah, do your job and hide behind the ambulance. That's privacy. City of Wayne, number 448. What's the number of the other uh, squad car? Yeah, you're gonna mind your own business too. Oh look! Optimus Prime is here. Babe, it's your Optimum Prime though. Look how burning for it. Is there another emergency around here? Oh, get rid of this Blue Lives Matter shit. Ooh. This is where my feet are. This is where the cop is. Good 15 feet. So far, so good. It's starting to pass the test. Everybody's minding their own business. Everybody is minding their own business. Ain't that right? Hold it. Run that back. Wait a minute. Go right. There, freeze that. Full screen. The Sun Piker! I'm coming to kill you! As you can see, nothing really happened there. Herbert just really wants the police to know he's there to come over to him so he can tell them they're dismissed. I suppose that's the only way he can ever feel authority and power in his life. But some people are like that, I guess. He's going to be in the United States for several months. He said this on his own YouTube comments section. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what shenanigans he gets up to. Until next time. What we never hear about extremism is its advantages. Well, the biggest advantage of extremism is that it makes you feel good because it provides you with enemies. Let me explain.
the great thing about having enemies is that you can pretend that all the badness in the whole world is in your enemies and all the goodness in the whole world is in you. Attractive, isn't it? So, if you have a lot of anger and resentment in you anyway, and you therefore enjoy abusing people, then you can pretend that you're only doing it because these enemies of yours are such very bad persons.